Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of a neat tool for practicing debates. It's called debateai.org, and I recently learned about it from Nick Peachy's excellent LinkedIn newsletter, which I recommend checking out. So here's how it works. You'll find it at debateai.org, and you can put in any kind of topic you want to debate, and then you can choose a person to debate that topic with. Now, you can do a serious topic like gun control, or a fun topic like is a hot dog a sandwich, or in this case, I'm going to say, who was the better player? Magic Johnson or Larry Bird? Now I'm going to click next and who should I debate this with? Now I can debate against a famous person or I can just let it randomly select somebody. I'm going to put in here uh, a person named Bob Ryan who is a longtime sports journalist in Boston. And so let's go ahead and debate that. And here we go. We're going to debate. And you can see here now we have this field for debating. Now let's say that Larry Bird was the better player because he had a higher career scoring average. And I'm going to put that in. And now we're going to see the response. And you can see, okay, there's the response. And I can put in my own response now, or I can let AI respond for me. And we will see how this debate plays out. Now, I should point out that when I tested this with some other topics, it didn't do quite as well and when I tested it with a topic that had some factual background it didn't do as well as I expected for example I'll go back in here and debate and I'm going to put in what is the definition of obscenity and again I'm going to debate it and this time I'm going to put in the name of a Supreme Court justice who famously said, I'll know it when I see it in regards to obscenity. And so I'm going to now debate with Potter Stewart, Supreme Court justice in 1964. And I'm going to just write in, I'll know it when I see it which was his famous line. And the response that I get here, while it does mention a legal standard, it actually argues against the position that Stewart took. So you do have to keep in mind that this is AI and it's pulling from a large language model, so it may not always create the best responses if you happen to know a little bit about history or a little bit about a particular subject, it may not be the best debate tool. But for a fun topic, like is a hot dog a sandwich or who was better, Larry Bird or Magic Johnson, it's a great way to practice organizing and creating arguments. So again, you can find that at debateai.org. And for more things like this, including a list of 30 other AI tools and tutorials for teachers and students, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.